Hello everyone, welcome to Insights IS. The aim of our program is to simplify your preparation and to streamline your preparation in such a way you can increase the hit ratio while attending the questions of prelims and you can clear the prelims in one go and come up with flying colors. Let's start with the first issue that is Kalapani territory. Recently released by political map of India, Kalapani becomes the bone of contention between India and Nepal. According to India firms, part of Uttarakhand in the sense Kalapani uh, according to India Kalapani forms the part of Uttarakhand that is the Pithorgarh district of Uttarakhand and in the same time Nepal is uh, claiming that it was that is Kalapani was the own territory in the um, Dharachula district of Nepal actually Kalapani is a valley situated on the Kailas Mansarova route administered by India as part of Pithorgarh district of Uttarakhand and remember guys Kali river demarcates boundary between India and Nepal so uh, actually during British time times treaty of Sugoli signed by kingdom of Nepal and British India after Anglo Nepal is war in 1816 located Kali river as Nepal's western boundary with India so let's discuss some facts about Kali river it is also known as Sharda river or Kali Ganga in Uttarakhand it joins Ghagra river in Uttar Pradesh which is a tributary of Ganga and the projects major river projects in Kali river are Tankapur <coughs> hydroelectric project, Chamelia hydroelectric project, Sarda barrage. So actually regarding this one question was asked uh, basically small small rivers are there in India and they tend to ask some questions. So a previous year question was with reference to the river Luni which of the following uh, statements is correct. Options are A it flows into Gulf of Khambat. Option B, it flows into Gulf of Kutch. Uh, option C, it flows into Pakistan and merges with the tributary of Indus. Option D, it is lost in the Marshi land of Ran of Kutch. The answer is option D. So, uh, Luni River uh, loca located in uh, the state of Rajasthan and it originates in Puskar and its uh, length is 530 km and it is the only river in India which is dried in itself. I mean, uh, in the mainland it dries, it does not flow into the river. So, let's uh, discuss the next issue that is freedom on net report. Now, the in now the internet penetration in uh, different areas is increasing. According to that, uh, of, uh, a one uh, one famous NGO that is Freedom House dedicated uh, its uh, one, one wing that is named as dedicated to expansion of freedom and democracy for uh, for measuring that freedom on net report and the, on the basis of indicators such as obstacles to access limits on content violation of user rights either this freedom on net report is preferred and according to performance China is the worst and uh, Iceland is the top performer. The uh, performance is made, uh, measured on the score. The score is be based on three things that is obstacles to access, limits on content, content and a violation of user rights. So the, if the score is uh, between 70 to 100 then it is uh, told as free, free. If the score is between 40 to 69 it is partly free and if the score is between 0 to 39 that is not free. That is the worst thing. What China is there? So India earned 55 points partly free category and the theme of this freedom on net report was the crisis of social media. So Iceland topped the performance we have already discussed and China is the worst performing consecutively fourth year. So uh, regarding this one question was asked in 2016 because every year uh, one organization or famous NGO report they, they are asking questions and people tend to do, do mistakes in this silly mistakes so let's do the question 2016 2016 prelims one question was asked doctors without borders medicines sun frontiers often in news it is it is what option a a division of world health organization option b a non-governmental international organization option c an intergovernmental agency sponsored by european union and option d a specialized agency of the united nations the correct option is uh, option b that is a non-governmental international organization and another question 2016 also asked regarding uh, any report or uh, international organization which of the following is are the indicator or indicators used by IAPRI to compute the global hunger index? Options are undernourishment, option 2, child stunting, option 3, child mortality and the right answer is option C that is 1, 2, 3, all are correct. 
ओके ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स सो इन कमेंट बॉक्स मेंशन व्हेयर इज द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ इंटरनेशनल फूड पॉलिसी रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट दैट इज आईएफपीआरआई सो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच वाज आस्क्ड इन 2018 रूल ऑफ लॉ इंडेक्स इज रिलीज्ड बाय व्हिच व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आंसर ऑप्शंस आर ऑप्शन ए एम्नेस्टी इंटरनेशनल ऑप्शन बी इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस ऑप्शन सी द ऑफिस ऑफ यूएन कमिश्नर फॉर ह्यूमन राइट्स and option D world justice project the right answer is option D that is world justice project uh, already we mentioned that freedom on a net report belong to freedom house freedom house is the organization and freedom on net report is the reporter index always remember this okay the next issue is cyclone bulbul okay means some uh, uh, in prelims also the possibility of question is there so let's discuss the indian meteorological department imd has issued an orange alert in indian state of west bengal and odisha over cyclone bulbul in the bay of bengal okay so in comment box mention where is the headquarter of in indian meteorological department and when it was established and uh, regarding cyclone bulbul the depression over the east central and southeast Beng bay of bengal and north andaman sea has turned into severe cyclonic storm the landfall of the cyclone is expected between sagar islands this is very very important sagar islands west bengal and Kepupara Bang Bangladesh. These two things always remember. Uh, uh, Sagar Island, West Bengal and Kepupara Bangladesh. The cyclone has been named by Pakistan and uh, uh, if the uh, if the color code is yellow then then obviously cyclone alert would be there if the color code is orange cyclone warning would be there if it is red then post landfall, uh, landfall outlook would be there. So let's move to the question which was asked since 2009 uh, because it was related to cyclone and uh, you can say hurricane which is uh, uh, in comment box mention in which country it is called as hurricane okay so consider the following uh, following names number one ike number two kate number three gustav which of the above are the names of hurricanes that had occurred very recently the option is d one two three the, this question was asked in 2009 because in 2018 2008 lots of lots of cyclones were uh, uh, hurricanes and cyclones were there so they asked this question so they can ask also possible questions because in 2018 and 2017 lots of cyclones were witnessed in the bay of bengal uh, recently 2019 the gujarat coast also so they can ask this question so have a good review on this so let's next issue is no money for terror ministerial conference Okay, the Minister of State for Home Affairs attended no money for terror ministerial conference on 7 November 2019 in Melbourne, Australia. The, uh, the fact is Melbourne, Australia, this was the second conference of its kind dedicated to the fight against terror financing. The first such meeting held in Paris in 2018, first such meeting in Paris. The conference is organized by financial intelligence units FIUs of over 100 countries generally called the Egmont Group. I, I forgot to highlight that the important is the Egmont Group. It is very very important to remember this. Okay. India will host the next uh, No Money for Terror Conference in 2020. India's stand zero tolerance approach towards terror. So it is the case. And the next issue is Tiger Triumph. That it is a first tri services amphibious exercise between India and US. It is to be conducted in Visakhapatnam uh, and Kakinada, Andhra Pradesh, and Indian Air Force will perform uh, crash deck landings. It boosts the capability of the Indian and US troops in humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, and counter terrorism. The next issue is BRICS. So, what is BRICS? That is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And recently, 11th BRIC summit is to be conducted in Brazil on November 13, 2019. The theme of 2019 BRIC summit is economic growth for an innovative future. The member countries of BRICS grouping hold 42% of world population. It is very, very important on factual basis. Please remember it. And 17% of world trade and 23% of world GDP. In 2018, BRICS commemorated its 10th anniversary in Johannesburg. The two main pillars of BRICS are, it helps to consult on issues of mutual interest through meetings. Also, it helps to promote several sectors like agriculture, education, health, finance, trade, technology, and communication. The theme of the um, BRICS is very, very important, guys. Remember it. So, in this, uh, we are completing the student's lecture.
थैंक यू गाइज हैव ए नेक्स्ट डे टेक केयर